located in Rio province at the heart of Sumatra Island of Indonesia, APR is relatively new, just two years in operation. But APR is Indonesia's largest fully integrated viscose manufacturer adapting the latest technology with an emphasis on automation, machine learning, and real-time data to ensure a consistent production of best quality viscose staple fiber proudly and fully made from Indonesia. Fully integrated operation means that APR is located at the same place which is certified dissolving pulp supplier. So the whole process from research and development, seeding, planting, processing dissolving pulp and up to the making of the viscose staple fiber takes place at one single location. That creates efficiency and continuity for both APR and our customers. Reliable delivery, best quality, and competitive price that is almost 100% of and from Indonesia. While we keep learning and never stop advancing our operations, our technology, and people, APR is the most modern and reliable viscose manufacturer in Indonesia. Viscose Orion is one of the key raw materials used in the 1.7 trillion US dollars world textile and apparel market. APR has not only put automation in our operation to optimize the manufacturing systems and improve customer satisfaction, but we also emphasize sustainability at the core of our operations from the very beginning as a responsible viscous producer to deliver a positive impact on climate, nature, people, and the fashion industry. It is so crucial for us. The world has changed significantly and rapidly. So does the behavior of global customers and the market. All business has to meet challenges of the next decade. Integration in the supply chain for APR requires that every process be carried out responsibly, effectively, and efficiently. Utilization of the latest technology available is implemented to ensure the whole process runs well. We take advantage of digitalization with the use of big data in the production and support areas, including manufacturing processes, logistics, human resource management, sales and marketing, and of course, sustainability monitoring to enable customers and other stakeholders to track the sourcing of our products. Even though we are a new player, APR is proud to be the first viscose producer in the country to receive the Indonesia's most prestige award on the application of the Industry 4.0 from the government of Indonesia. First of all, APR is going to double its capacity from the current 240,000 tons per year to 600,000 per year. We are so delighted to have such strong supports from the government of Indonesia of various ministries, Ministry of Environment and Forestry, Ministry of Industry, the Investment Coordinating Board, many of them. His Excellency Mr. President Joko Widodo visited our mill on the 21st February of 2020, officially inaugurating Asia Pacific Rayon and marking his strong commitment to support the entire supply chain of the Indonesia's textile industry. As per today, more than half of our production are exported to some 20 key countries overseas, with the balance of supply to the growing local textile and fashion industry. With all the competitiveness we have at the moment, APR is aiming to become a catalyst for the growing domestic textile and fashion industry and to play a significant role to boost the viscose share globally, which is based on 2019 data, still less than 8% share of the total world fiber consumption of 108 million tons. So that is a big opportunity for APR and Indonesia to raise the bar among viscose-based textile players and sustainable fashion industry. Together with new technology and innovation, viscose Orion is not only an alternative materials for textile, it is renewable materials, biodegradable, fashionable, and more durable.
the strength of our business lies in our vertical integration with our, the sourcing of our raw material co-located in the same landscape. So this being Pankalan Kerinci on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. So we have the full traceability of our main raw material, our wood pulp, from the viscose mill all the way back to the plantations where the trees were grown even far back into the seedlings in the nursery. Um, having the full traceability, um, we've created a platform, Follow Our Fiber, which is powered by blockchain, to show that entire supply chain um, and what the difference between traceability and disclosure is that disclosure is really about um, giving information on our sustainability performance, our environmental performance. Um, this, all of this, we do report it in our sustainability re report that is published every year but we also put it on the traceability platform so that our brands and customers and ultimately consumers can actually understand all that we've achieved on sustainability and how we can actually communicate that to consumers. So in the textile industry where we operate, the supply chain is actually very complex. And many of the brands and fashion houses um, may not know what goes beyond their tier one supply. And um, naturally understanding our supply chain, we're hoping to connect our supply chain ultimately into the supply chains of, of many of the fashion brands by um, disclosing our information, telling the stories. Um, so this is not just about disclosing where our raw material coming comes from, but it's also about understanding who goes behind making the products, how it's being planted, where it's being grown, and even some of the impacts like the conservation areas and some of the forest conservation we're protecting in places like in Sumatra. I think what we've done is a good starting point by providing um, disclosure on our supply chains and the, communicating those stories within our supply chain. But I think we always need to go beyond that through continuous improvement to strive for more be it on our sustainability journey, um, but also really understanding and reflecting on some of the industry trends and concern, particularly right now, um, a lot of that concern being about climate change and the mitigation of climate change within our own operations so that we can begin to unpack some of this and tell more about that journey, what we're doing to address these issues within our operations and our supply chain. So I think there's a lot more unpacking that needs to go in the way we communicate these efforts in that journey, ultimately to the consumers.